Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm working for China Radio International. Uh, I'm from Australia and I've been brought up in a Western country, so this is my first time in Beijing and I'm just as keen as you to explore this city. So now we're currently situated at Qianmen. This place is widely known for its historical significance. Uh, Qianmen literally means front door. It was previously known as the south door facing the front of the Beijing Palace back in the Ming and Qing dynasty. In 1439 AD, it changed its name to Tianmen, front door, as well as being the tallest out of the nine palace doors. So Tianmen used to be the epicenter of the business district in Beijing. There's an old Chinese saying called which means good wine will always be found no matter how deep or far the alley is. So let me take you there. This shop certainly applies here and let's go. Okay, so here we are at Neli and Shen, the shoe shop. This is the front entrance as you can see. Did you know that the shoes produced here are much loved by martial art artists such as Bruce Lee uh, as well as communist leaders such as Mao and Deng Xiaoping. So now let's have a look at the shop. Lianxian reflects very strong Chinese cultural flavour. As you can see, there is lanterns right here. There are dragons on the walls and the ceiling is very beautiful. And lo oh, lots of red wood around here as well. Uh,它这个是这样中间这样子一个一种一种。对,这种鞋鞋是非常有特,这种鞋鞋我们叫它淑女鞋。淑女鞋啊。淑女鞋也是织锦缎的面料。嗯。然后鞋底是这种鞋
，介绍一下做做鞋这过程好吗？哦，做鞋过程啊，先那个纳底子，纳完底子然后做这个帮子，做完帮子以后呢，给它上。做成这样了就是。啊，好像他说有呃，有地方说他九个步骤，有些人说是五六个步骤是吧？就有些小步骤他就不用。这个我们这个做鞋的工序呢，有那个七八十道呢，嗯，挺多的，也挺繁琐的。啊啊，好像就是说，在他呃那个最后那一句就是呃把它锤的之前，你要把它闷在一个被子里。哦，对对。那个为什么呢？那就是锤底，锤底呢，就是说在纳的过程当中呢，它不是特别齐，然后呢，通过那锤底呢，把这个底子呢都给纳成特别齐，都给给它锤成特别齐了，大小一致了要，分一下它不就软和了吗？软和以后它就滋润了，然后你也好锤它。锤是让它更结实一点吗？啊，对对对，然后锤完以后呢，它通这纳完了以后再一锤呢，它在这个。这底的中间呢，形成一种钉状了，嗯，穿起来的它就耐磨了，也结实。啊好，那个那个底一般是多少层？这个是千层底吗？它其实呃，千层底呢，这个是男鞋呢是那个三十四层，女鞋呢是三十二层。啊好，那您就是觉得这个职业还挺特殊的哈，嗯，呃，就是您觉得对对他有什么体会吧？就是对这个职业这么这么多年了。啊。现在呢，就是说做这种鞋手工艺的鞋的人呢，现在是越来越少了。呃，显得这种手艺呢，现在越来越珍贵了。所以我们也希望呢，就是说年轻人呢加入这个行列，来那个传承一下这个手工艺的这个技艺。As you can see, this is the actual shoe sole, and you can see how tightly woven all these stitches are. Uh, this is the one that consists of two thousand stitches. Um, and you can see that with, this must be handmade because the rope must be thick and the needle must be thin to make this very, very tight and strong and robust for, for wearing. And that's, this is the reason why uh, machine-made uh, soles were banned in the 70s. Uh, I think they tried to produce these on, on machine-made soles and this wasn't successful. Okay, here's an interesting story about the former general secretary of the Communist Party, Deng Xiaoping. Uh, Deng Xiaoping loved wearing Nelian Shan shoes made here. Uh, as a present for him uh, in 1997 when Hong Kong returned to China on July the 1st, Nelian Shan uh, Taylor made a pair of shoes for him, his favorite pair that was made from leather. Unfortunately, he passed away uh, four or five months prior to the date, so he never worn them. And since then, uh, the shoe has been donated to the National Museum of China and is being called the Xiaoping shoe, named after him. So now we're at the end of our little restoration of the shoe shop, and I'm really amazed about how all the hard work that goes into making the shoe and how important it is to the culture. Okay, it's been a pleasure bringing you here, and we'll see you next time. 我头衔才买就这一。